Hey guys, it's teacher Anya and it's our last lesson of the week and we're going to be reading some short stories and then we're going to be reviewing our lesson sounds, our letter sounds, vocabulary, all kinds of stuff. So let's get started. It's not very long this week, okay? These are kind of shorter lessons this week, so it's kind of nice, not so long. So let's go ahead and review. Okay, this is phonics. Okay, so remember phonics is just a really fancy way of saying how a word sounds or how a letter sounds. Okay, that's phonics. Okay. All right, cool. So we're going to review. So we're going to remind ourselves about different letter sounds. So let's look at these pictures. Let's say the word. So what's this word? Mm -hmm, good. Tomato. Very good. What's this word? Moon. Very good. What's this word? Pan. Pan. Okay, good. What's this word? Ant. Very good. What's this? Map. Very good. And what's this? Pencil. Pencil. Very good. So tomato, moon, pan, ant, map, and pencil. Okay. All right. We're going to read each word. This should be easy peasy lemon squeezy. Ready? Set. Tap. Remember, tap is to kind of like touch something, okay? Tap. Map. Sap. Sap is the sticky stuff that comes out of a tree. So sometimes when you touch a tree, it's like sticky. That's sap, okay? So sap. Pat. Pat. And am, okay? I am Anya, okay? Am. All right. So let's review our words together, okay? What do our directions say? Let's read them together. Read the words and sentences. Okay, easy peasy. The, we, see, a, like. Okay. We can see a spider web. We can see a spider web. Sam and I like the ant. Okay, so let's read these two things together again. Ready? Let's read together. We can see a spider web. Good. Ready? Let's read this sentence together. Sam and I like the ant. Okay. Here's our ant. What is he carrying? Yeah, he's carrying a really big leaf, right? That's a big piece of leaf for such a small little animal. Okay, so the ant is very strong. All right, and he's walking on a branch, okay? All right, let's read our story. And our story is about a frog. And what's our frog's name? Yeah, our frog's name is Pat, okay? So his name is Pat. Okay, so Pat in English can be a boy's name or a girl's name. It doesn't matter, okay? It can be either or. So Pat is in his pond, and he's sitting on a... We call this a lily pad, okay? So frogs sit on lily pads, okay? And a lily pad is just a lily, right? It's like, kind of like in China where you see the lotus blossoms, right, in the summertime, like the big lotus in the water, and they have the big leaves that go around them, and they're very beautiful. Lily pads kind of like that, but smaller, okay? So frogs can sit on a lily pad. All right. So these are lily pads. So Pat the frog is sitting on a lily pad. Okay, so let's keep going. What does he say? Okay, he has very big yellow eyes, right? I think he can see very well. He can probably observe very, very well, right? All right, so let's see what he says. So easy to read this. Ready? Go. I am Pat. Okay, I am Pat. All right, so we know because he's telling us I am Pat. Okay. And Pat is kind of leaning on what? What's this? Yeah, it's a rock. It's not a lily pad. It's a rock. So what does he say? I am at the rock. Good. Let's read it again together. Ready? Can you read with me? I am at the rock. Good. Can you read it by yourself and I'll listen to you? Good job. Nice job reading. Okay, so Pat, our frog, is at the 
rock. He's sitting on the rock, okay? All right, what happens next in our story? I see a dragonfly, right? Or maybe it's a wasp or a bee. We don't know yet, okay? Does Pat see him? Yeah, he can see him, okay? What does he say? I can see a bug. Good. Let's read it again together. Ready? I can see a bug. Good job. Can you read it to me and I'll listen to you, please? Go ahead. Good job. Very nice. Okay. I can see a bug. So Pat can see a bug. Okay, what is our bug doing? It's sitting on this kind of big puffy thing. In English, we call this a cat tail because it kind of looks like a cat's tail. So this plant is called a cat's tail, okay? So he's sitting on the cat tail. And what does Pat want to do? He's trying to, uh-oh, I think he wants to eat our bug friend, okay? So what does he say? He's splashing in the water, okay? I tap the plant. I tap the plant, okay? Why do you think he's tapping the plant? Yeah, he wants to like get at the bug, right? Okay, so he's gonna tap the plant, okay? So I tap the plant, okay? Can you read the sentence for me and I'll listen to you? Good job, very nice. So I tap the plant, very good, okay? Then what happens? Our bug is, he's buzzing away, right? Okay, and he has a very long tongue, and he's going to try to get this bug, right? Okay, so what does he say? I like the bug. Mm -hmm. Yummy, yummy in my tummy, right? I like the bug, okay? Can you read the sentence for me? Good job. So Pat likes the bug. The bug is very tasty for Pat, okay? All right, cool. So... We read all about Pat, and now what's the title of this story here? What is this called? Yeah, easy. Tap, 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 okay? So tap, tap, tap. All right, so we see this bird here, and it's tapping at the wood, and we call this bird a woodpecker. Peck means to, like, right? So birds peck at their food, okay? They kind of, like, peep, 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 peep. Okay, so this bird in English is called a wood pecker. Why? Because it pecks at wood, okay? It makes these big holes in trees, all right? So this is a wood pecker, okay? And what is it doing? Okay, there's a family. All right, so we have our family here. And are they in a city or are they in nature? Yeah, they're in nature. Okay, so do you think they're going to see, do you think they're going to observe the woodpecker? Yeah, maybe they will, okay? So let's see what happens. All right, what do they say here? I am at the lake, okay? So let's read this sentence again together. I am at the lake. Very good. Can you read it by yourself? Awesome, very good. Okay, so our family is at the lake. So remember, a lake is a, like a big body of water, okay? A lake, okay? So I am at the lake. What are we going to see at the lake? What's that? Do you remember what this is called again? Yeah, it's an ant. And what is it carrying? A big piece of leaf, right? Okay, so what can our boy see here? What does he say? I can see the ant. Okay, so he says, I can see the ant. Good. Can you read the sentence to me and I'll listen to you? Nice job reading. Okay, very good. So he is at the lake and he can see the ant. Very good. Okay, what else can he see? Okay, so here's our bee. Remember we said that bees are very fuzzy, okay? They're furry. They have like fur on their bodies, okay? So this is our bee and it's in the flower, right? So what else can he see? I can see a bee. Good. Let's read this again together. I can see a bee. Good. All right. Read it by yourself and I'll listen to you. 
Awesome job. Okay, I can see a bee. We can see a bee, and what is it doing? Yeah, it's getting nectar. Remember we talked about nectar is that really sweet stuff that's in flowers that birds and insects can eat. Okay, so our bee is getting nectar, and he's getting this kind of like yellow stuff stuck to his legs. That's pollen, okay? So pollen will go back to the hive. Remember, a hive is a house where bees live, and they'll use this pollen to make honey, okay? So that's what he's getting. So he's getting two things, okay? Nectar and pollen, okay? Here's a ladybug, and she's on a leaf, okay? What can he see? I like to see the bug. Okay, good. Can you read the sentence to me, please? I like to see the bug. Very good. Do you like to see the bug? Me too. They're cool. Do you remember we learned what these are called a long time ago, what he's holding? Do you remember what they're called? They help you see things that are far away, and they make things that are far away very big. Yeah, binoculars, binoculars. Good job. That's a hard word to remember. Okay, what else? So here's our woodpecker. Okay, and our woodpecker is pecking. You can see all the wood that's flying around. Okay, so what does he see here? So his dad says, we see it tap, tap, tap. Okay, so let's read this sentence again together. We see it tap, tap, tap. Good job. Can you read the sentence out loud to me, please? Nice. Very good. So we see it tap, tap, tap. Awesome job. All right. Here's our favorite part, okay? Readers to writers. So remember, this is where we stop reading and we start thinking about what we're going to write, okay? So an idea. Let's read the sentence together. Look at the sentence that Julie wrote. The sentence tells about a bug. Okay, so here's Julie's model. And remember, we said that model is an example of something. Okay, so Julie's example is what? Let's read the sentence together. The bug is on the leaf. Is that true? Yeah, her bug is on a leaf. So let's read the sentence one more time together. Ready? Go. The bug is on the leaf. Good job reading this. Okay. So Julie's example shows a bug. What kind of bug does this look like? Yeah, it looks like a ladybug, okay? So the ladybug is on the leaf. So that's Julie's example. So I want you, this is the end of our lesson. See, it was really short and easy. Um, so what we're going to do is you're going to draw an example like Julie, okay? So I want you to draw a bug. Okay, and then I want you to write a sentence about it, a model, okay? So you could say, the caterpillar is eating leaves, okay? Or the monarch butterfly flies away, okay? So I want you to draw your model, okay, what's happening with your bug. So maybe your bug is eating, maybe your bug is in a chrysalis, okay? Maybe your bug is trying to get away from a frog that wants to eat it. Okay, whatever you want to draw, and then I want you to write your sentence about it, okay? So tell me what's happening. So pretend I can't see your picture. Can't see it. And then tell me what's happening in your picture, okay? So describe. To describe is to tell me what something is like, okay? So I can't see your picture because I'm very far away from you in California, all the way in America. So I need you to describe your picture to me so I can see it, okay? So that's your assignment. That's your homework. And I will see you next week, and we're already going to be on week 10. So that's awesome. All right. Hi, guys. It's Teacher Anya, and we're going to do a phonics review today. So we're going to go over a lot of different sounds and how we use sounds in English, and we're going to review some of our words that we've been learning. So um, let's go ahead and get started. So our word here is phonics. It's our favorite time of the week. So let's go ahead and read. Okay, what letter is this? A, very good, easy. A, 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 A. 
Okay, so let's read this together. The letter A stands for the A ah sound, as in apple. Let's pretend to open our mouths really wide so we can bite into a sweet, juicy apple, and we'll say, ah, bite into your apple, okay? So learning this action of ah will help us remember that the letter A stands for ah, okay? So here's some other words where we use the same sound. So apple, ant, and axe. They all have the ah sound, okay? So just remember ah, okay? So you can sound like a big, cranky dinosaur, okay? Right, here's our next letter. It's M, 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 okay? So the letter M stands for the M sound as in map, M. Okay, look at the map. Where do you live? Okay, you probably can't point to this map <laughs> and say where you live because this is a map of the United States where teacher Anya lives. So teacher Anya lives way over here in California where this red dot is. She used to live in China where you live, but she moved and flew home to California and now she lives in California. So M, 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 okay, good. So A plus M is what? Can you say this? Am. Very good. Awesome. Okay, P, 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 P. The letter P stands for the P sound, P, P, as in piano. After the piano lesson, it's time for a popcorn snack. Make some popcorn, okay? So when we make popcorn, what sound do we hear? We hear P, 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 P. All the popcorn is popping, okay? So P, 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 pop, 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 popcorn, okay? So we can help remember that when we hear the P sound, like popcorn popping, it'll help us remember what the letter P sounds like, okay, like in piano. So A plus P is app, okay? So M, app, map, okay? Good job. Okay, let's review. T, 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 ta, ta, ta. Okay, the letter T stands for t, 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 like in turtle. Okay, the turtle moves really slowly and quietly. Or we can listen to a clock tick. tick, 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 tick. Okay, so we can be our own clock, so we can sway back and forth like a clock, right? Try it, it's fun. Okay, so let's read. A plus T is at, good. M plus at is mat, good. S plus at is sat, sat, good. T plus M is tam, T plus app is tap, okay? Okay, let's review letter S, 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 like a snake sound. Okay, the letter S stands for sound like sun or snake, okay? So the S wakes in the sun and starts to hiss, say, okay? So like a snake hissing, right? Okay, so if we can remember like a sleepy snake waking up, okay, that's the S sound, okay? S plus app is sap, so remember sap is the sticky stuff that's inside of a tree, okay? S plus at is sat. Okay, all right, let's review. This is really easy. App, sap, tap, map, am, tam, pam, good. At, mat, sat, pat. Okay, really easy peasy lemon squeezy, all right? Awesome. Okay, find the words that begin with the sound s. Okay, then we're going to find the words that begin with the sound t. Okay, so sun begins with good toe t t t ta ta toe good t t t ta ta tie okay s -s -s six the letter six okay okay find the word that ends with the sound p okay. So let's take a look. So we see a pen. Does that end with p? No, it starts with p, right? Okay, middle word map. Does that end with p? 
Yeah, it does. Okay. Last word is pig. Does pig end with p p p? No, pig does not. Okay, so pig, no. Okay, find the word that ends with the sound. S okay, let's look together. Soup. No, it ends with p p p p p p. Okay, so not s. Okay, bus. Yeah, bus has it. Good job. What about sock? No, it starts with the sound. Okay, so sock. Okay. All right. So remember, a verb tells us what? A verb tells us what someone or something is doing. Okay. So what's she doing? Yeah, she's jumping. Okay. So she's having a jump. Okay. So our verb is jump. Okay, what's she doing? Yeah, she's singing, okay? So the verb is to sing, okay? Good. What's he doing? Yeah, writing, okay? So the verb is write. What's he doing? He is juggling, okay? Very good. Okay, so I'm gonna do some actions and I want you to tell me what I'm doing, okay? So we can use these four words, okay? So wave. Or wave is hello. Clap. Good. Shake. Okay. Or raise. All right. So I'm going to do a motion and you tell me which one I'm doing. All right. Ready? What am I doing? Yeah. Shake. Good job. Okay. What am I doing? Good job. I'm waving. Excellent. What am I doing? Yeah, raise. Very good. What am I doing? Very good job. Clap. Okay, excellent. Awesome. Okay. How can the following bugs move? Okay, what does this bug do? What does an ant do? Let's write the words down together, okay? So an ant can crawl, okay? So remember, an ant can crawl. Okay, what about a fly? A fly can, yeah, a fly can fly. Very good. Okay, awesome. Oops, let's move our thing down. Okay, what about an inchworm? How does it move around? Yeah, it inches, actually. Inches is a way of saying it goes very slowly. So if you're saying something like it inches along, it means it's going very slowly, okay? And our ladybug here can also crawl up the leaf, okay? So our bugs can crawl, okay? Or they can fly, or they can inch, okay? So if they're inching, they're moving very slowly along with their whole body, okay? They're inching. Okay. Identify the action words in the following sentences, okay? So what's the action word? You tell me and I'll circle it, okay? So we go to the park. What's the action word? Yep, good job. It's go. She jumps rope. What's the action word? Yeah, good job. Jumps. Awesome job, okay? So we go to the park. She jumps rope. Both of these words, go and jump, are action words, okay? Good job. Nicely done with that. Okay, let's get our spotlight and keep going. Phonics review is going pretty quick today, okay, because this is kind of easy stuff for you. Shared writing, okay? So writing that we share is someone, something that we're going to show someone else. We're going to share it with someone else, okay? Writing trait, a trait is like a habit, okay? So a writing trait is something that makes us know that something is writing. So part of a writing trait is ideas, okay? So when we write, we often write down ideas. So they're a trait of writing, okay? Where do we get ideas? Let's read this together. We can get ideas from observing. Remember, observing means to look at closely. Observing our world, we can look at and listen to find, whoops, we can look at and listen to things to find out more about them, okay? 
we can get ideas from books too, okay? So let's look at this together and we're gonna write down what the things are doing, okay? So what are the bees doing? Yeah, they're flying, good job. What noise do the bees make when they fly? Yeah, bzzz. okay, so we say bzzz. okay. When they are flying and they're bzzz, we would say they are buzzing, okay? So the bees are buzzing, all right? So when they're flying and they're making the bzzz sound, we would say that they are buzzing, buzzing, okay? So any insect that makes this sound like a mosquito or a fly or a bee, you can say that they're buzzing, okay? All right, good job. Let's erase our words so we can go forward. Let's get our spotlight. Okay, we're gonna buzz away from this page. Okay, so let's look again. And let's write together. Okay, so let's read. Jumpy, leapy bugs and slimy, crawly, creepy bugs, okay? So what does our grasshopper do? Yeah, our grasshopper is very jumpy, okay? What about our worm? Yeah, our worm is very crawly, okay? Our worm is very crawly, okay? So the bugs, what, are moving, okay? So the bugs are moving, they're moving around in their different ways. So they're either jumping or they're leaping or they're crawling or they're creeping, okay? But all of these bugs are moving around, okay? Awesome, all right. Let's read together. When we closely observe things, when we look at something very carefully, we learn new things. We can also get a new, new ideas about things from books, okay? This should have an S because we are looking at more than one book, okay? So what is this boy doing? Do you remember the word? It starts with an O. You sure you don't remember? Oops. Teacher Anya wrote this way down below the line and you can't really see it so good. So we're going to write it again. Okay, so we are observing, okay? We're watching something very closely, okay? We have been getting ideas about what bugs do from I love bugs. So what are some of the things, new things that you learned about bugs? What do they do? Yeah, maybe they're slimy and they're crawly and they buzz. Okay, so there's lots of new things that we've learned about bugs this week from reading about bugs, okay? So they're slimy, they're creepy, they buzz, they're gross sometimes, okay? Sometimes they're very, very interesting. It just depends on the bug, okay? All right. All right. Okay, the spider hangs from a ceiling. Hangs is an action word, okay? In English, we would not say the hangs. That's bad, bad English. So we would simply say hangs is the action word, okay? Because to hang means that you're hanging from a string, right? Okay, so I'm hanging from my string. That's what I'm doing. It's my action, so it's my verb, okay? All right, and then let's review. Remember, in ideas, look at the sentence that Julie wrote. The sentence tells about a bug. The bug is on a leaf, okay? The spider is hanging from the ceiling, okay, good job. All right, let's write a story sentence. How to write a story sentence about a bug, okay? So let's think of some of the things that bugs do. So they jump, crawl, hop, what else? Yeah, they buzz, what else? They fly, what else? How does a worm move, do you remember? Yeah, it inches, okay, so a worm can inch. What else can bugs do? Can they swim? No, they cannot, okay. So 
I can use the action words from this word web to make a sentence. So let's make a sentence together. The bugs, what? Crawl slowly, okay? So the bugs crawl slowly, okay? What do these words tell you about bugs? They tell you how bugs move okay so all these words tell us how the bug moves okay the bugs are buzzy the bugs are buzzy they're making lots of buzzing noises okay so let's read our sentences again the bugs crawl slowly that's how they move okay what do these words tell you about bugs they tell you how bugs move the bugs are buzzy, very buzzy, okay? Okay, so I want you to look at all these bugs that you can see here, okay? And I want you to, whoops, we still have words on the page. Let's get rid of those. I want you to pick one of these bugs to draw, okay? So I want you to draw one of these bugs. So you might want to pick this moth. Right, moth is very beautiful, or this ladybug, or this ugly fly, or this big pincher bug, okay, inchworm, or maybe a, another kind of worm, green worm, okay, and I want you to draw your bug, and then I want you to look at a word web about bugs, bugs and you can choose to put action words to your sentence. So you're gonna draw your bug, you can use a piece of paper, and then I want you to use some of the action words that we learned, okay? So the bug crawls, oops, crawls slowly, okay? The bug flies very fast. Okay, so I want you to draw your bug on a big piece of paper, and then I want you to make a word web, just like we made earlier for the bugs, to talk about what the bugs do. And then I want you to write some sentences. Let's say you should write, mm, I think you should write four or five sentences about what your bug can do, okay? So you write your sentences and then show the page to your mom and dad with your sentences on it, okay? We're gonna erase these, because you have to make up your own sentence. You have to think by yourself, okay? Think on your own. All right, okay. The last thing in our review. Verbs can give us information as well as action to a story, okay? The ant pulls a long leaf, okay? So what action is the ant doing? Yeah, the ant is pulling. Yes, the ant is pulling a leaf that is probably bigger than it. Okay, so the ant is going to pull a very big leaf. It's going to carry a very big leaf that is bigger than the ant. So sometimes verbs can tell us through the action what is happening in the story. So like the ant is pulling the very big leaf along that's bigger than its head, okay? So remember to go back to the bug page and draw your favorite bug, write your word web, and then write some sentences about your bug describing how it moves. So you're gonna talk about how your bug moves around, okay? And I will see you next week for more lessons, okay? Good job today on our phonics review. You did very, very well. Teacher Anya is very proud of you. And she'll see you soon, okay? Bye-bye.